the next tea spilling moment is she just finished saying you were a good girl except for that one year you had really bad grades it's because i skipped the whole entire year where are we skipping to oh my gosh <laughs> Channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because we post three videos every single week. Leo. Leo. <laughs> Comment down below, get better Lucas. He actually has Chuck Throw, so. Someone gave it to me. Sorry, I love you. That's why I should be making out when you're sick. We did a lot more than making out. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. I'm gonna go lay down. So in this video, I'm gonna be spilling the tea to my mom. First of all, I never heard about this Asian guy in middle school. Wait, I heard about that on YouTube. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> he actually was in our neighborhood. All right, I'm not gonna say Wait, who? Up the street. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? No. Mom just finished saying you're such a good girl. <laughs> I'm gonna have to revise that statement. <laughs> go ahead. Second tea spilling moment. I semi crashed a car. <laughs> you semi crashed his car. The person I told her I was dating, I crashed his car. <laughs> okay. I never drove like a day in my life. Oh, well, I think I just got my like the permit. Mm -hmm. You know, you do a test. Like, yeah. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I started being so cool and cocky, and I was like, I could do a three point turn. He's like, okay. So like, he let me drive. And then when I backed out, mom, I hit the wall. Face palm. <laughs> Not only that, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Happy more as you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. People are like, I can't understand you. Like, stop laughing. So I do a three-point turn. I back up, hit the wall. I jump in the car and like, <laughs> it was going down the hill. I'm like, in a dream. So if you're watching now, you know who your name is. <laughs> She's really sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, the next tea spilling moment is, so you know, she just finished saying like, you were a good girl except for that one year you had really bad grades. <laughs> it's because I skipped the whole entire year. What were you doing when you skipped the year, Rachel? Where are we skipping to? <laughs> you skip classes? Yeah, I skip the, like every single class of academics. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so if this is a different color, then it's because I added it in. All right, but also, so you remember when I told you how I skipped my whole ninth grade year? Yes. And I skipped all the academic classes? Yeah. All right, <laughs> it's like a funny add on to it. So my teacher, right, he had like, one of my teachers, I don't know his name, obviously, because I was never there. I rambling with the class like towards the end of the year, and the teacher was like passing out awards, mm -hmm. and he gave me a reward mm -hmm. for the worst attendance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> people, I did not know this. No, people, she still ended up with really good scholarships. That's by the grace of God. I mean, I she ended up going to college, not even on a full ride. Yeah, right, Futures I did. scholarships. So she got academic scholarships and she got track scholarships. Yeah. So. But ninth grade. Thank God you moved from that school to the other school that you went to. I didn't move. I got kicked out. <laughs> I was in the LPN program, and they're like, you you failed out because my grades were so bad. And here I thought she wanted to run track with her twin sister all this time. I told her that, I told her that I fib. I got kicked out. <laughs> my GPA was like 1.0. It was so bad. But I graduated with a 3.8. Like, I like I literally bust my butt like the rest of the three years. She did. I, like took and like she had math. You had I to took take uh, math out online. online classes. Yeah, she she really <laughs> worked. She worked hard to I end did. it up, and and you know she ended up even better than some of the people that were quote unquote doing so better than her. Yeah, she ended up. So I ended up getting a full red more. academic and a full red track. Yeah, but she did good. Score. <laughs> Score. <laughs> All right, so the next one is, I used to steal candy all the time from the store. <laughs> Hopefully the statute of limitation has run out. It was in 1942. <laughs> it wasn't all the time. My child. It wasn't all the time. It 
time. It was like a couple times, so. Yeah. I think, you know. I think everyone does. Everyone. Oh, you said my gangster brand is still. You never stole? Okay, so this is a childhood one. Did you know we like lived in the attic? And then we babysitting a couple kids, and they were in the attic with us. And one of the girls got hurt. I was like six years old, like. How could you be babysitting someone? Else? I baby. Oh, that's another thing. It's been like 14. But I, no, I was like eight years old, and I was babysitting like a five year old. You didn't leave a five year old with you. They thought that they were, uh, they were leaving them with you. <laughs> And they used to give me the money for you, but I pocketed it. <laughs> At eight years old, that is... Can I have some more sugar with this tea, Lucas? <laughs> Y'all just don't know how crazy these kids were. They were some crazy, crazy children. Let me spill a little bit myself. Okay? These kids used to... They were so high energy. I mean, oh I, my gosh. Mom, they're probably saying she still is. <laughs> well, that's true too. But it was way worse. Listen, I do not know how they grew up without breaking a bone. I don't I'm know either. I'm telling you, I don't know how to do it without Fat Protective Services coming behind me because they would climb up on the refrigerator. They yes. would climb on the stove. It would scare the living daylights out of me. I, broke, would I broke that arm. Scoot up the wall <laughs> and then jump down. You know, I, I, I just don't know how they survived childhood. They were crazy. They were really, really crazy. They were literally going to spam the comments saying, she still is crazy. Listen, the worst was, they would have these bad fights between them. Oh, it was bad. Rebecca, you and Rebecca. Oh, it was so bad. And... Then and <laughs> One day, I, I came home from work. I used to be a home health nurse in South Carolina. And um, I came home, I had a rough day. I came home from work and there they are screaming at each other. They must have been about maybe nine or 10, maybe? Yeah. Screaming at each other and carrying on. And I was like, look, I had a rough day, okay? <laughs> so I went to my bedroom, closed the door. The next thing I heard, knock, knock, knock. Here comes Rachel. Mommy, Rebecca has a headache. <laughs> Okay, weren't y'all just screaming at each other? Okay, all right. Knock, 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 she comes back again. Mommy, Rebecca has a headache. Okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, y'all deserve that headache. <laughs> right? See, the screaming that was going on. The third time she comes back, what kind of parent are you? <laughs> Rebecca has a headache. <laughs> That's I you. almost fell off. <laughs> did, you did you check on her though, I I said that? Yes, I did. I had no choice, Rachel. I was such a compassionate person. She was not going to let me go. No, she asked me what kind of mother I was. <laughs> I said, what kind of mother are you? <laughs> Rebecca has a headache. So this they could fight with each other. They could literally draw, you know, do a duel. But no, you know, don't get between them. Right. I learned, we all learned that lesson in the family very right. early. Never pick sides with one of us because yes. then we'll get mad at you picking sides. Yeah. Right, so you probably know this because I, I don't know if we told you about this. So yeah. while we were working, you work in South Carolina, did you know we used to go to different people's houses and cut their lawns? Did you know that? <laughs> and then one time, we actually saw your car go by and we like jumped and hid behind the bush. Did you? Okay, people, when I left the house, they were supposed to be good little children <laughs> and stay in the house well, I'm not at home. Because you're home health. See, you join the people's houses. Yes, I did. So sometimes I came up unexpectedly. I did not have a nine to five job where they knew I would be home at such and such a time. I would come home at random times right. in the day. And all I would see them scooting like little mice. You know, <laughs> I'd come up the street and I would, you know, I would see them scattering in different directions. Oh, sometimes. that was another one. I said, we used to play outside when you're at work. Mm -hmm. And we hear your car going, and I got one more tea to add to that. What's your tea? So Rachel gets married. Well, you're giving a, <laughs> wait, so you're giving a tea to them? <laughs> Bonus tea. Rachel gets married, okay? She calls me up the next day. Mom, what? This was a terrible idea. Why did I wait till I was married? This was terrible. Well, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I waited till marriage to have sex. <laughs> And I called my mom. It was a terrible idea. I don't know. It was a terrible idea. It was a great idea. It was a great idea. But dang, it was a bad idea. And we are going to tell you guys how our first time went. We're going to do a first time video. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below saying, we love you, Mommy and Rachel. Oh. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Hopefully, I'll be um, 
Fantastic. Yeah, mom, this is your first time here with, with the with, since we started YouTube. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Right? No. No, it's your second time. Yeah, I second time. I'm you kind of wanna, shy. You didn't want to come on camera. I'm kind of shy. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of shy. So this is a big step for me. To me too. Come on the camera. This was hard for me. It's getting more comfortable. Yeah. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button below, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up because my baby. And my other baby that's sick over there. As a matter of fact, just hit the like button and the subscribe button for the sick guy over there. <laughs> Show him some love and support, okay? And like Rachel said, say get all Lucas in the comments so that he'll feel your love and your you know well wishes coming his way. All right. Oh, Bye guys. That was such a cute. Oh, I love you, bro. Bye guys. <laughs>